Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today we're finishing this job on this theater, and man, what what a great space this came out to be. Uh, with a little planning and a lot of work, uh, we have uh, accomplished something great. So what we're using is a lawn to control the lighting um, and audio in the video. And excuse the video as far as, it's probably gonna be a little bit dark, it is a dark room, it's a dedicated room. It's almost like a dark blackish purple. Um, so, and we'll show pictures right here of what the front wall looked like before we put the screen and the sound bar on, but it was also a kind of a purplish color. And we actually, um, there was an old center channel in the wall. There was an old sub in the wall um, that had big boxes. And what we did is we, um, filled those in, tape mud textured, and then painted the whole front wall black. And then we had, it was an old screen um, that had the velvet edge, we took that off. And so now what we have guys is a Screen Innovations Zero Edge 1.2 slate screen. It's a 118 inch diagonal. And I don't know if you can see, but the 118 goes corner to corner where we have kind of a weird angle with the uh, ceiling. And <laughs> I'll also post pictures um, uh, above me what the soundbar looks like without the grill. But the grill is a custom James loudspeaker SPL5, and it's got the quad array of tweeters in each of the left, center, and right. And it's mounted flush against the wall, which looks incredible. You barely even notice it. And because of the quad array of tweeters, there are four three and a quarter inch tweeters um, that are going to disperse so wide. Um, it's we got it placed right below the screen. So in both levels, I don't know if you can see the room well enough, but there's two levels of seating. Both levels, no matter where you sit, has a great um, position on hearing uh, the audio at its best. Now, in the front left side of the room, we have a James 10-inch sub, 12-inch sub, 12-inch sub, 12-inch sub, I'm talking to Ronnie behind the camera, 12-inch sub is right there firing, uh, it's a downward firing sub from James um, in that front left corner. In the back right-hand corner, and I'll have to show you guys this, uh, and hopefully you can see it, let me, uh, I don't know if I have a flashlight to show you guys, but we have the James Power Pipe 10 inch sub. And so we have acoustical fabric here. Um, but what we did is we did a custom sub. It's got a tuned pipe coming out or vents out the front. Um, nice, clean fit and finish, but it goes to an M1000, which is a thousand watt amplifier. And let me tell you, um, this thing pounds. <laughs> so we have one in the front left hand corner of the room, one in the back right hand corner of the room, and between the two does a great job. Now, since we're right here, I don't know if you can see this, but we've also installed for the rears um, some QX uh, 620s. I'll take off the grill, and it's just magnetic. So you can see it. also it has the quad array of tweeter. Uh, so we get nice wide dispersion and these just stick right back on just like that so um, now right over here um, again uh, we have the surrounds and these are the round the QXC uh, 820s and these also I think I'm tall enough to reach these actually if you look it also has, you may not be able to see that. Get flashlight there, there you go. See the quad array of tweeters, uh, three quarter inch tweeters there with a mid, eight inch mid. So it performs really, really well. So um, unfortunately we weren't able to change the positioning of these two speakers for the surrounds. Um, and that's why we went with a quad array type speaker because uh, this was pre-wired way years, years, years ago, and <laughs> there was no way to get wire without really tearing up the ceiling and doing a lot of sheetrock repair, which we didn't want to do on this particular job. So, now taking you to the projector, 
This is the JVC RS2100 laser. And man, it does it super quiet. Uh, fairly large, um, fairly heavy, it's about 50 pounds. So we have a you know custom mount there from Chief uh, to mount that thing and uh, it's not going anywhere, but uh, it does look really, really good. And then as we go in over to this side, nothing too crazy, but um, this is just where we have some of the equipment. And we have the Integra receiver, Sony Ultra HD Blu-ray. We have the Sonance um, 2 750 amp. So we're running, um, actually earlier I said the M1000. We're not running M1000, I do apologize. We're running the Sonance 2 750. So it's actually running 750 watts to um, the front sub and 750 watts to the power pipe sub. Uh, so we have the Elon controller to control all the equipment up here with the remote and then just a switch and then we're using Lutron um, for the lighting so we have lights on the steps and then two sets of lights in the ceiling so I am going to show you real fast some of the one of the cool pages that we've created on our home page we have a light button so with the light button so we have step lights which we can control on and off so we have steps on the front of the room and the back of the room and then we have accent lights, which are the two lights by the screen. And then we, of course, we have the main lights, which are the rear four lights. Now, guys, you've seen in other videos, we've used DMF lighting. Well, that's what we're using here. We used all DMF, um, so we can, at full brightness, we're at 3000K, which is a super um, dark room to begin with, uh, but it looks really, really nice. And then when we dim down we're to 1800K, you get a nice warm dim. Uh, which looks really good, especially in the theater room. So, uh, as you can see here, we'll let the accent lights, we'll just hit off. And you'll see those front two went totally off over there. So now we have no light on the screen, which is a good suggestion for you guys doing theater rooms. If you're going to do can lights near or towards the screen, put them on their own switch because there's a lot of times you don't want to have light on the screen at all times. So, uh, and then you can easily you know, dim. And what's really cool is if you hold the, the down button, it tells you the percentage, let off, and it's gonna go to that percent. So, and again, I'll, I'll dim these down some more so you guys can see that they start yellowing out because you're dimming all the way down to 1800K, which gives you a nice warm glow in the room. Just another awesome touch to uh, a really nice theater room. And again, guys, hope you're able to see. I know Ronnie's doing his best Chinese use a flashlight and everything. And in the beginning with, it's, it's a dark room, but the room has came out really, really well. And can't wait for the client to enjoy it. And uh, we got a lot more cool products coming up for you guys to see. Some more DMF stuff that's coming up in our showroom. And again, guys, if you have any questions about anything in this video, uh, what we've done to the theater room or any questions for your theater room, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to our videos, please subscribe because we try to put out two good videos every single week and uh, we enjoy hearing from you guys. So until next time, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.